What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out kind of a weird game, I'll be honest with you. This is an odd one, but you guys know me, I like weird esoteric things, and so like this game is kind of like RimWorld. Bear with me here. It's a mythological Chinese colony builder, but it's like RimWorld. If RimWorld crossed over with like Kung Fu Panda, I know that sounds terrible. I know that sounds like a terrible example. But you know how in Kung Fu Panda they're always looking to ascend to enlightenment? Well, this is basically RimWorld where everyone in your colony is like a martial arts practitioner and you're you're starting your own society that studies like certain aspects of things to ascend to like enlightenment and gain great power and there's diplomacy and you can invade your neighbors and fight with other sects and, and things like that. And so anyways, well, I'm not super experienced with the game. I figured we'd dive on in today and take a look at it because if nothing else, it's very, very original. Uh, it's very curious. I have played the tutorial and fiddled around with that a bit and I've watched some other people play the game. So I figure like I'm reasonably well equipped to do this thing. And if I'm not, you know what? That's what editing is for. So let's dive on in. Uh, we'll leave everything on the defaults for right now. I don't see any reason to fiddle with anything just yet. And so we will initialize our game and start generating our world. Year 245 of the Tian Kong era. December. The Taiyi sect, which had established itself near Mount Fullmoon, was suddenly invaded by enemies. I can't read that fast. No. Uh, we get to decide on our character here, who we want to play. Uh, we have Shikai, who apparently is like a snake lady. Lots of constitution. Lots of uh, intellect. Not much luck. Little bit of potential. Little, little tiny bit of potential. Not a whole lot of perception, but like a median amount. Utterly unlikable, apparently. Nobody nobody likes her. Uh, we also have apparently Gui Yue, who is a turtle Yao Guai. Okay, we have like some, we have some interesting options here. Uh, apparently he's got lots of intellect, but he's kind of like slow and stuff. We also have apparently Yu Siyuan, who also does not appear to have a whole lot of great abilities. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Reincarnator to kind of like get a character that I want to make. Uh, I don't really know any good names, so we'll go with like uh, Splat, and my first name will be The. It's going to be backwards, isn't it? I bet you it will be. We can shoot a Rabbit Yao Guai. That sounds pretty rad, dude. Uh, this guy's sick, bro. This guy was popping. All right, I'm a Rabbit Yao Guai now, dude. That's all that it is. I could have been a human being, but we rabbits now out here. Apparently, we are pretty good at farming. We're not bad at that. Pretty good at crafting. And as far as our delicate social skills go, uh, we're not really that great at anything, okay? We're not super rad, but when it comes to cultivation, we're okay with battle. Our key sense is all right, just in case we want to launch some Kamehamehas at somebody. Uh, we've got magic crafting seems to be reasonably decent. I regenerated my dude again because I wanted to have a sweet-ass rice paddy hat. All right, I can't help it, dude. Every dope martial artist ever, like Raiden has one of those, dude. And Raiden is, like, the coolest. All right, I'm okay with this. I can live with it. We're just trying to get into the game and take a look at everything anyways. So, like, meh. Apparently, I can have more scars. Uh, dude, I'm going to be an edgy bunny rabbit. There you go. I'm a bunny rabbit that likes a scuffle. I'm a bunny rabbit that likes to throw down, although apparently I'm not very good at it, hence how I got the scar. All right, let's dive on in. A few days after your escape. So here we are in the middle of kind of a busted little area. Uh, there's lots of stuff to learn in this game, and honestly, there's intricate systems that are not going to be applicable for a little bit. For what we need to do right now, it's easiest to follow the rule of thumb of RimWorld. Chop down some trees, plant some crops, make some buildings, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, we've got like, there's an entire like yin and yang type system to the whole thing. Now there's also like elemental magic that kind of like feeds off of each other and you need to like maintain like the feng shui of your area. Frankly, that's all way over my head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build with no forethought whatsoever. That's fine. I I know how to I know how to chop down some trees in a video game, let me tell you. I've been chopping down trees since this game wasn't even a twinkle in somebody's eye. So there you go. For several days, you hid during the day and traveled at night, finally arriving at a secluded ravine. As you were about to relax, a light of teleportation suddenly struck, showing the contour of a cultivator. Oh, hey, what's up, man? The sect leader and I go way back. I caught wind of Taiyi's troubles and came as soon as I could, but it was too late. Thankfully, the gods are kind and have not allowed this to be the end of the Taiyi sect. Finally, I have found you. Don't worry. I shall stay in isolation for a while and protect you all. If you ever encounter difficulty while on the road to cultivation, 
Don't be shy. Ask away. So you know how they keep using the word cultivation? Cultivation in this game is basically the path to, like, ascension and enlightenment and whatever your school of, like, martial arts is. They're not talking about growing crops. They're not talking about, like, maintaining, like, sunflowers or something. What you'll notice as we play the game is that little dudes will run around like her right there. Right now she's cultivating. So you see her, she's doing training at the moment. And if we, oh, I, I, I don't, I'm doing the commentary. So anyways, if you go down inside of here, you can take a look at this little meter right here. And you will note that while she trains, her foundational cultivation is going up. And there's like different tiers. And you get access to like new abilities and stuff as you train. So you may notice that as things are happening inside of our little town, uh, some people will be stopping off and it'll be looking like they're doing Tai Chi or something. That's literally what they're doing. They're like focusing their key and they're working on becoming stronger and like ascendinating. See, she's already 1% of the way there. That's all it took. Uh, we can put down exploration flags. You don't have any control in this game over the stuff that your guys do. So all you really do is kind of like, what was the name of that game? Not Settlers. There was another game. But anyways, you kind of just like put flags all over the place and they'll go like investigate stuff and look. So as you can see, they've already cleared out that little area right there. And then we've got myself chopping down trees. Everybody else doesn't really seem to be helping altogether that much. So anyways, here's the work menu. Now that the tutorial, like I already played the tutorial. It's still trying to tutorialize me, okay? Uh, I'm gonna tell everybody to be like a logger and like a builder and like a farmer and like a miner and stuff because like it just seems like a good idea for getting our basic task done. It seems like we've got some logs laying around here. I think everything is like banned right now, like Rimworld style. So I need to go through. Oh, there's a there's a male turtle over here. All right. Turtles deliver the mail. That's all you needed to know. We've got turtle mailman. That's pretty rad, man. I wish that I had a turtle mailman. How are we doing on these trees over here? Are we doing a good job? Ew, dude, it's all kinds of snowy right now. Oh, what is that thing? Why is there a dragon flying over my base? Dude, this game is so wild. There's so many things happening. Why did I just get strafed by a giant thunder dragon? Like, I don't under... I'm so confused right now. Uh, we can also... There's, like, things laying on the ground right now. We can use these in order to, like, heal people. There's rabbit meat. We've got, like, a forming pill over here that we can use. So now that our last tree's going down, I think it's a good time for us to start, like, building some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that right there because I don't care. We can make a bonfire, a simple source of fire built from firewood that can bring light and heat to the surroundings. We can also use it for simple cooking. Uh, its main material will just be wood, I think, and we'll kind of just place that right there. And hopefully somebody will go and actually build that thing. I don't know what the tutorial voice is droning on about right now. There we go. I've disabled the talking lady so that she no longer talks. We have a bonfire over here, which is pretty rad. What can it produce? It can make dried meat. Yeah, let's make some of those, dude. We've got rabbit meat laying down here, so I feel like that's a good idea. Yeah, look at you over here. You kung fu that fire. You take care of You punch that fire until it gives us rabbit meat. That's what I'm talking about. Is this guy trying to harvest a tree with his fist? Dude, that's pretty legit. I'm pretty happy about that. If I ever saw somebody knock down like a spruce tree with just like their knuckles, that tells me that that is not a guy to be messed with. Let me tell you what. All right, so we can do structures now. So we've got fences. We've got doors. We've got things like beds for like our day-to-day -day life. We've got our work menu over here so we can make handicraft stations. We can make a well for when people get thirsty. Is anybody thirsty right now? Do we need to build like a... Oh, people are hungry. But they're not thirsty. What are those? Bread? Oh, dude, I thought they were pork buns for a second. I got excited, dude. There's very few things in this life that excite me, like the prospect of fresh pork buns. Uh, I guess I'll just put this... Yeah, I'll kind of put this next to the campfire, I suppose. There we go. What's that going to cost me to build? Oh, we're building it out of timbers. Gotcha. With the handcraft station, what can I do with that? We've also got stonework and a timber station. Okay, so we probably need the timber station. Oh, no, I'm building on my fertile soil. I thought that this was going to be the healthy soil over here. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll put the timber working station, like, right there. And then we've got a handicraft station, which means that we can make simple items by hand over there. Yeah, let's do that. We can build one of those, like, right over on this side, too. 
We'll just get our basic stuff all nice and set up. Dried meat is going to decay in 50 days. That did use up a lot of our rabbit meat. But hopefully it ends up being worth it. I didn't know they were going to eat it like raw or what they were going to do. Uh, over here, this can draw water if we want people to. I don't know how our water supply is looking right now. We've got, like, food, we've got medicine, we've got wood, and then we've got related to practicing, I guess, over there. Uh, there's a myriad of, like, buttons you can push in this game. I'll put it like this. They have to do with investigating your sect's history and, like, becoming stronger and finding, like, the artifacts that make, like, your sect more strong. Basically, you're on a massive kung fu adventure RPG to find, like, all the things. You ever played Total Warhammer 2? You know how, you know how the Kemri... They've got to run around and they've got to find all the magic books in the vortex to do their thing. This is basically the RimWorld equivalent of that. Like, you know how in RimWorld, there's like quests, but they're sort of like emergent? In this game, there's actually like an objective. So like if somebody has like an artifact of your sect or whatever, you're probably going to have to go to war with them or beat them up or trade for it or something in order to make yourself strong. We've got an amber fruit right here. Apparently it's almost mature. I wonder if I want that. Do I want that? Is it good? Yeah, harvest things. I don't know. It's never a bad idea just to harvest some things. There you go. Just grab all that stuff right there, wherever it's at. Yeah, grab it. Perfect. Get to work out there, cousin. There's some pears over here, dude. I love pears. Pears are the best. Let's add pears to our inventory. I'm a big fan of pears. Uh, what can I produce? Oh, that's... A waiting item, eight timber. Hmm. Apparently there's an old box over here. I'm going to search it. Somebody go search that old box. Maybe there's like uh, magic artifacts inside of it or something. Oh, we went inside the box. We found a box that had useful things inside of it. 15 iron ore. I'm okay with that. Apparently we're punching down a poplar tree right now because I don't have the tools to do anything else. That's fine by me. I mean, do what you got to do. We make do with the tools that we have on hand. All right, I had to disassemble my well because I couldn't make a lumber station because I used up all my lumber building a well because I don't think about the things that I do before I do them. So anyways, here we are. We have our timber station. Uh, we definitely need to produce some timbers. So, like, let's maybe do that. Yeah? What is this? Repeat? Yes, repeat. Absolutely. Uh, just loop it endlessly for a minute. I get the feeling we're going to need a lot of timber. That's right. You kick that timber. You break those boards. I believe. I feel like Shikai is probably going to ascend before all of the rest of us. Her dedication to her training has been admirable. Well, I'm training now, too. Okay. Sometimes, listen, man. Sometimes you got to fill up your chi meter so that when the enemy comes around, you just kamehameha. And you just, like, blow them into pieces. All right. Kamehameha. Gallic gun. Whatever, whatever you want to do. You know, make your ability do your thing. I don't know how much timber I have right now, but I assume that I have enough. There's 60 timbers right there. Okay, we can probably stop that. We're going through all of our wood now. With 60 timbers, what can I accomplish? Let's take a look. Well, we can do the handicraft station, so that'd be pretty cool because being handy at crafting seems like a pretty smart idea. So let's go ahead and do that so that we can knock that on out. Uh, we can do a stone working area. But it looks like we need a bar of some kind, so a stone block looks like it's going to be necessary in order to get that done. I'm willing to bet that we can probably get it out of this wall right here. Yeah, go ahead and mine that out right there. It also looks like we have some iron. Oh, it's cinnabar. Never mind. So we've got jade and we've got cinnabar, and that's just gray rock. I wonder if I have to mine all the way back down. And, dude, I love the fact that if they don't have the proper tool, they just go over there and punch it, man. There's something determined about that that makes me pleased. Uh, what's underneath her right now? Brownstone? Okay, that'll work. That's pretty much all that we need is a block of any type in order to make this whole thing function, so I can live with it. Uh, what can we produce inside of here? It looks like we can make a bow, okay, so that we can hunt animals. We can make a vessel. There's a secret method of endowing a vessel with blessings recorded in the 16 Supreme Seps... Okay, that's over my head. I'm confused. Uh, we can make bells, apparently, which makes our mood better. Fair enough. Uh, we've got a timber axe over here. I think it's a good idea. Let's just kind of like make one of each of or two of each of those so that we have a lot of tools laying around to help us out. It looks like this wall's about to come down over on this side, so we'll start worrying about it a little bit later. I think they automatically pick up tools that you're going to like need in order to make stuff happen. And so 
we should see them go grab things. Like, he's already got an axe right there, for example. And so these two should grab the axe from that side. We may, in fact, need three of each of these. Yeah, give me another farming tool real fast, just in case. And then we will continue to pickaxe this whole thing down, maybe. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong thing. There we go. Yeah, just keep working on that wall. Gui Yue, you're doing a great job, man. Oh, look at that. He picked up the pickaxe, and now he's going to it. Oh, wow, that's way faster. That is like, I like how he, look at him walk away with the swagger after he punched down a mountain, dude. Gui Yue is my guy. I can tell already. He's like, bad guys are going to show up, and he's just going to be like, you are not prepared for my southern style. And then he's just going to, like, wreck them all. He's going to, like, be able to attach his turtle shell, and it's going to split off into, like, a thousand arrows and, like, pierce him. It's going to be legit, dude. It's going to be, like, Bollywood Supreme just over the top. I can tell already. The game can't lie to me. I know what's coming. All right, so we need stone blocks from right there. But I'm pretty sure we can probably do the stone workery right now. So I'll throw down the stone worker right there. Oh, we're going to need a well, too. I forgot about that. People need to drink water. Yeah, let's put down a well, too. Oh, I like how they clear the plants and stuff before they start working on the actual thing. That's pretty sweet. Luckily, none of us are, like, crazy thirsty right now, so I think we'll be all right. It does, however, look like people are getting tired. So that's good. Like what I like 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 what I like about this game, what it has going for it is it's like absolutely steeped in kind of like I, I suppose like Buddhist mythology, which I like a lot actually. And there's a like there's a fair grip of Chinese mythology in there as well. It makes the game stand out as being unique. Like we have the sci-fi version of Rimworld already. We have the fantasy version of Rimworld already, which is effectively like Nomoria and Dwarf Fortress and all that kind of stuff. Like I, I really, really like seeing perspectives on stuff like this that kind of draw you into a world that you've never been a part of and like systems that you've never been privy to. Uh, I feel like that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, if we can knock down more of this stuff over here we can build our entire city on top of the stone which to me feels like a really really good idea so I'm gonna send them on out and I'm just gonna let them do their thing over here for a little bit dude Shikai is really good at mining I don't know how good Shikai is at mining but watching her mine versus everybody else yeah she's like tearing it up right now she's like absolutely obliterating it uh, we've uncovered a couple of things actually in the back of here which i think is pretty cool we found some caskets so like i think that i'll open these a stone casket dug out of a boulder looked like it had been there for decades who knows what's inside you open it and you find a collection of basic talismans what do the basic talismans do so it's a secret manual it allows us to get attainment plus one but it requires us to be in the state of shaping our key. I think most of us are just in the state of foundation right now. Although, honestly, there's so many interesting esoteric systems in this game that I feel like it's just going to take time to get a handle on all of it. I think you've just got to kind of, like, play and, like, figure it out as you go. Like, diving on into this one might be kind of challenging if you're not willing to sort of, like, bear it all out and see how it goes. I think it's a pretty rad idea to start thinking about making rooms. So, like, maybe I make a room over here. Like, just the very, very basics. That seems alright to me. That seems good. We'll put in that right there. Do we have, like, floors or anything? Yeah, we do. So we can demolish floorboards, but there's also decorative floorings that we can play around with. Okay. We've also got fields over here. I think that's a really, really good plan. Maybe we make, like, a little field right here. Just make use of all that good land. All right, so now we got to pick the crop that's going to go into this land. Yeah, let's grow a plant. Let's grow some wheat over here. That sounds like a pretty good idea to me. I'm all right with that. Uh, can that be chopped or, like, demolished, maybe? That can't be chopped or demolished, but it looks like I can clear all this stuff over here, and I think it's a good idea. Let's go ahead and we'll clear out all the grasses from this little area so it looks kind of like Occupado. I'm going to leave them on max speed. I play RimWorld on max speed all the time. It's sort of an addiction. I do it a lot. But anyways, we're going to let them clear up the fields. Oh, look at that. The planting is taking place. Very nice. 
All right, so we spent pretty much the entire day clearing out this area and just making it look like really, really neat and tidy. Apparently, we're going to need more timber, so I'm going to go ahead and actually for now, let's go ahead and put timber up right there, and we'll have it loop 10 times. I don't know how many of these does it take, so we need... I think it looks like it only takes like one timber for each one of these. Yeah, so there you go. If we could get the turtle guy to come over here and just take care of that, he moves around really slowly. Largely, I assume, because he's a turtle, Yao Guai. Uh, but if we could get him to kind of just, like, relax over... Oh, he's relaxing already. Never mind. If we get them to hang out over here and make the timber while everybody else runs it and works it... I have a character who has been injured. How were they injured? Very healthy. Very healthy. No, I have a slight bruise. Apparently, it will recover. I bruised myself while building, so apparently we can have accidents and stuff while we're working on buildings. I'm trying to get these bedrooms put together so that we all have like a room to live inside of. I'll probably take down the well again and put it somewhere else just so it's out of the way. How long do these guys take? Seems like it probably takes a little while, but unfortunately our temperature appears to be unsuitable, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, we don't really have like pasture space right now. I'll put that over there. And what do I want this to grow? So we've got wheat, we've got herbs, which are for basic medicine. We can grow lotus. Uh, apparently the root is edible. I had no idea about that. Uh, we can make a pear tree. We can grow just like normal grass. Yeah, make a field of cotton over here. Why not? Maybe that'll work out pretty good for us. I also think that it might not be a terrible idea for us to make a bow and maybe have someone go hunt. Like, I know we haven't really seen a whole lot around here. I'm going to continue exploring my surroundings too. We'll go ahead and, like, put this stuff all out here just to expand our borders ever so slightly and just kind of, like, see what's around us and what we're interacting with. I've also noticed that we have no leisure, so maybe I should make some leisure. We can make a tic-tac-toe board. Sure, why not? It's a solved game, but I'm sure someone will enjoy playing it. There you go. We've got a mud pit tic-tac-toe game. We're also training again so that I can become as powerful as my master. I played a game a long ass time ago called Age of Wushu or something like that that was kind of like this where you could get like 10 players all together and you would like stand in a circle and you would do Tai Chi together and like focus your key and give you a bunch of bonuses and stuff for like the rest of the day. It was pretty sweet. I think they called it cultivation in that game too. So I assume that must be a very, very common terminal. I don't know, dude. I wasn't raised in a Chinese household. I'm a quarter Hawaiian. But other than that, just, you know, suburban white dude, so... Oh, look at that. They're putting in a roof. Very nice. I wonder if the roof's going to cross over once all this is done. I like how the door opens and closes, too. That's pretty rad. Do we not have enough lumber left? We don't... No, we have timbers. Never mind. He must have... Yeah, he's going to do it. The slowest guy is the one running product all over the place. Uh, looks like we've scouted a little further. There's a bunny down here. Yeah, hunt the bunny. Apparently, we just beat a rabbit to death. It seemed to happen at a rate that was like lightning fast. Can I beat up a turtle? Is it bad for me to be killing things? What the hell is that? Dude, are you casting like magic over there? Man, okay. All right, fair enough. We have jobs to get done. Hunt a few more turtles. Dissect them on up and see if we can get some money going. How beat up are you? Oh no, dude, you've got a ruptured rib? Oh, I don't like that. Apparently he had a counter blow, dude. His turtle style was strong. How do we see how strong the turtle is? Apparently this game also has like positional and like area damage, just like RimWorld has, where you can like injure your foot, you can injure your leg. Is she getting, like, really beat up from this? Apparently she lost a couple of scales in her, in her massive battle with the turtle, in case you were wondering. If nothing else, we're bringing in a little bit more food. Hey, that's done. Very cool. All right, so we'll close that on down. Let me go back to building. I wanted to see, like, what kind of flooring do we have? I guess I can't have flooring just yet. Yeah, we'll just put in a couple of beds over there. That sounds alright to me. 
I feel like that's a plan that's pretty functional. How hard is it to make a bed? Is it just like an upraised sleeping platform? Hey, looky there, we got it taken care of. Apparently, a shovel is the best tool you can use in order to make a bed. I learned a new thing today. Oh, we can make a grave too, just in case something bad happens. Okay. Good to know. Mm, I would like to like make a little storage area. We've got structures and stuff over here. I can continue building like houses and things. I don't know if that's what I want to dedicate myself to just yet. I suppose I could. Never hurts to have like an extra building. I don't know if that door is going to work. I guess we'll find out. We all out of wood yet? I don't see any wood laying around, so I think we must be out of wood. All right, chop down some more trees, cats. Chop down some more, sorry, not cats, bunnies. Uh, bunnies, snakes, and turtles. Go chop down some trees, all right? What can I produce over here? I can make brownstone blocks. I think that's probably the next thing that we need to accomplish. Yeah, make a, make a bunch of brownstone blocks real fast, too, when you got the time to do it. So now we have brownstone blocks. I think it bears investigating like what we can accomplish here, although I think I'm out of timbers again, too. I would like to see the option, instead of repeating this forever, I would like to see the option of just setting up sort of, I, it must, it might exist, I don't know, but setting up limits and being like, hey, make sure we always have 50 planks no matter what. If we don't have 50 planks, go make 50 planks, you know? That'd be a nice little thing that I think would speed us along a little bit. But our little city's coming up. We haven't been attacked or anything. There is a... Oh, there's a there's a tiger? Bro, why is there a tiger? Oh, no, dude. There's a tiger in here. I'm not trying... Dude, we built our home in a tiger patch. That's not good. We, we, built our, we built our base inside of a tiger glen. And now I feel fear for my safety. Shikai, are you feeling better yet? Good. Shikai is feeling very healthy. And apparently, Gui Yue is feeling pretty good, too. He's got his favorite little hat on. Very nice. So let's clear out all the grass inside of here. It's going to be... Dude, why did the music get all crazy? I got worried for a second. I thought we were under attack. How is my foundational training going? We're already like 10% of the way there, dude. Pretty soon we're going to be actual disciples of the Taiyi sect. Right now we're kind of like prospects. We got to put in We got to put in work first. But soon we will be inner disciples. And then we can focus on our key shaping. And we're going to learn how to throw fireballs. And be like, Hadouken! And it's going to be legit. Alright, let me build another bed in here, too. So for life, we can have a bed right here. That sounds like a good thing to have. Apparently, we can have tables and stuff, too. Yeah, why not? Put in two tables. Apparently, I can make it out of brownstone bricks, too. It looks like for the flooring, we need to have some kind of special technology or something. Alright, there's the bed. You seem to have gotten used to life around here, although it's not reassuring as when you're still in the old sect, life here can be self-sufficient enough. Why can't this also be a form of cultivation? This is a new home amidst all the chaos and unrest. Will it be a nice beginning as well? Everyone is full of hope. I mean, honestly, we've just whittled buildings out of nothing, so I feel like we've got a good shot. Like, I couldn't whittle a building. I couldn't do that if I wanted to. And so anyways... My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me. This is Amer this is Amazing Cultivation Simulator. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, kind of a cool little game that I would watch develop. Uh, sort of a unique take on a colony builder. Like a colony building martial arts training, uh, martial arts school simulator. Kind of badass, dude. I kind of dig it. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Take care. And that's all I got for you.